way we ended it, and uh, you know, hopefully we'll be able to bounce back and uh, play a lot better in our next game. Questions, please. Did you see any, Did you see anything tonight to build off uh, heading? You know, heading to heading for Xavier no. in the tournament. No, honestly, I, I thought we were going to come out with a lot of fire, a lot of intensity, and I, and I thought you know first quarter, but you know we just we let them shoot 55 percent in the 40, 54 percent in the first quarter, 55 in the second quarter, 55 in the third quarter. Like that's not really good defense, and we tried to adjust our defense and and um, for the game, and we just not come out with the same intensity that I thought we would have. Been very uh, tentative and that was a shame. What was it about Villanova that made them so successful tonight that you were able to notice? I, mean, I think they play really well together. I think they're the best player in the country. And she plays really hard and fearlessly and they follow that lead. I think we held it at four points in the first quarter and she still finished with 32 and only played 33 minutes. You know, but at the end of the day, we're gonna have to figure out how to play better as a team because when we won 11 of 12 earlier this year, we did, and we've really struggled since then. You, you just mentioned about Maddie. Uh, you know, were you happy how you guys contained her in the first half? First quarter, especially. I yeah. thought we did a great job. I thought we battled her and we were physical with her. And I don't know if it becomes fatigue or, you know, Villanova does a good job of being patient and getting her shots. And, you know, we, we, we really struggled with that. Yeah, I think she's improved a lot. You know, she still has a ways to go. I'm proud of, you know, how how far she's come. She's averaged in the past seven games, I think, almost 15 points and seven rebounds. But she's going to be a big cornerstone of our program next year. Clearly, we have a lot of uh, rebuilding to do, and uh, you know, fortunately, we have her. I, I'm just, you know, disappointed that the rest of the team hasn't really picked it up with her. Um. Although you didn't finish the season how you like, uh, you know, how happy were you that the fans and stuff came out and entered uh, the building? I mean, we said to the girls in the locker room, what, what these fans have meant to us and do is amazing. And, you know, I'm so proud of our fans and, and who they are and where they are. I just, you know, I, I'm just disappointed that we couldn't give them that showing. I really am. Is there any sort of advice that you're going to be giving them? That there may be a little bit more regular season left, but with the Big East tournament looming, is there anything that you may try to say to them with that upcoming? And I, just think, I, 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 don't, I think we have to look in the mirror and figure out why we're not playing. Mm. I, I don't understand it. And that's nothing against the Villanova team or Butler team. But even when we beat Xavier here, we didn't play well together. And I don't understand it. I really don't. Um, I said that to them. I don't understand it. I mean, the kid number ten. Dolce, I mean, she kicked our butt, she had 11 points and 11 rebounds. We move slow, we don't look like we're, we're you know, engaged. And I, I don't understand it, it's not who we are. Like, you, this is the time of year you should be playing well. Like we were last year, playing well, mm -hmm. having fun, rocking and rolling. And this year, it's, 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 it's a chore to do anything. I don't understand it. Coach, Lauren only played 30 minutes tonight. Was any of that just because she was coming back for a Yeah, she was sick. She didn't play last game, she's still not 100%. You know, at some point when I saw that she really struggled in the first half going one for 11, I knew she didn't have her legs or energy. I mean, they give her credit for trying to play, but she wasn't herself. Do you expect her to be fine for Friday? I don't know. I mean, so some of these colds and whatever you got will last a long time. So I hope so. I mean, Xavier's playing great. They only got three points in UConn at the half, I think. Ten points in the end of their quarter. You know, everyone looks at their record and thinks they're not good. They haven't given up. They're playing really well together. Do you hope to use some of the experience that you got last year from making it to the WNFD final into uh, just carrying it into the postseason this year? Mm. I thought we were. And I really thought it was going to help us. And clearly how we've played the second half of the year in house. And I don't understand. I said to the girls just now, I just don't understand where it's going. We haven't changed players. We haven't changed plays. We don't want our plays. We don't do anything. Right. And I don't understand. You know, we've got to do a better job coaching them. They also have to do a better job at this point. We've run the same place for two, three, four years. You guys got to figure it out. Okay. Thank, Thank you, you, folks. Thank you.